Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, and guess what we're talking about on this channel today? Music. music. Specifically, opinions about music. Specifically, an old opinion on an older album that's about 10 years uh, in the world at this point. That would be the Porter Robinson record worlds. Yes, a decade ago, producer and songwriter Mr. Porter Robinson made impact on the world of EDM with his debut full-length LP, Worlds. Since then, he has been celebrated as one of the more creative minds to come out of the scene in the modern era, even if his presence has been a little touch and go, because it took him about seven years to actually follow this album up uh, with the record Nurture in 2021, an album that was actually one of my favorites of that year. This record saw Porter applying a lot of these driving dance grooves and epic condensed synthy crescendos to cuter dreamier and more heavenly palettes of instrumentation, the gentle and glitchy electronics, the lush arrangements, the minimalist piano repetitions all over wind tempos, for example, still sounds amazing to this day. Additionally, I enjoyed the loving, hopeful, and idyllic lyrics that played out on a lot of the vocal performances and treatments on the record. It was a very pretty and moving album, to say the least. Now, up until Nurture's release, my review of Porter's debut had been a hot topic among fans who had caught it, and demands to re-review the album or asks to uh, see if my views on it have changed at all since it came out, I have only increased since my positive uh, review of Nurture dropped. My review at the time was not my harshest, but it certainly was unforgiving to a degree. You could say I gave it a classic Fantano dress down and slapped it with a strong five. So now it's been a decade, and recently I've been doing some revisits to uh, reviews that are, you know, around that age and just kind of seeing if uh, I feel the same way, especially uh, the takes that people seem to have strong opinions on over the years. So I figured, why not Worlds? And I revisited the album. And honestly, I can say I'm not feeling as aesthetically grossed out as I know I was at the time when I first gave this album a shot. There are still some things about the record that I find to be a turnoff, some very stereotypically bricked out mixes that uh, honestly are pretty claustrophobic, uh, make it feel difficult uh, to breathe or find any space between the layers of instrumentation on it. Uh, maybe polygon dust is the worst offender. Some of the vocal performances and breaks I found uh, still to be a little overly dramatic, uh, namely on fellow feeling. I cry for all that is beautiful. <sighs> Some of the more anthemic synth leads on the record are reminiscent of artists that uh, much of the time I uh, would rather be listening to, uh, be that like MGMT or uh, even some M83. Off of the song Fresh Static Snow, we also get very big Daft Punk vibes. And to kind of take it back to the vocals on the record, I'm not crazy about a lot of the guests on the album personally. Maybe I was more harsh on uh, the singing on this album at the time. Now I've reached more a point of neutrality or I can even be sold on it a little bit if I think the tune is good. But yeah, I just think a lot of the performances on this thing don't have a lot of personality outside of sounding very smooth and youthful and kind of tapping into this vague sense of uh, melancholy and ennui. And even when you do get something quirkier on the vocal side, like with the uh, uh, chops all throughout the song Flicker, uh, they feel more like a near novelty. But still, even with all of that, I'm here to say uh, that I think off the bat, I was a little harsh on the record. Maybe because in retrospect, it's easier to not feel as repulsed instantly by uh, the era of EDM this album came out of. Could be a rose-colored glasses sort of thing. The album has certainly held up better uh, than a lot of the cheaper and more commercial stuff uh, on that side of things. On top of it, I did enjoy Nurture quite a bit. I mean, loved it, in fact, obviously. And I think going back to this LP, it's easier now 
to hear the aspects of nurture that were essentially born out of this album and, you know, kind of see more in it. Generally, I did find myself enjoying this record more than I know I did when I originally reviewed it. And I have more positive things to say. The opening track is killer. The grooves, the gigantic drums, the squawking synthesizer leads are all attention grabbing. The shimmery and blissful vocal bridge goes over very well too. There's also Sad Machine, which I think might be the cutest and most adorable song on this entire thing. And while, yeah, I could see a more cynical version of myself uh, throwing up at, you know, one listen to this, now an older me can appreciate it for being as uh, pretty and endearing as it is with its big choral builds and harp arpeggios. Meanwhile, Years of War is every bit as much a lush and soaring stunner. Flicker that I mentioned earlier, while there are some aspects of this track I just think are okay, there is a groove to the punchy drums and little guitar chops and thick synthesizer layers that I can't deny. Also, so I'm not usually into the uh, cheery, bright, upbeat, indie summer jam anthem vibes that I think uh, the song Here the Bells is tapping into. But I think with more of an electronic backing with uh, these like retro gaming synthesizers in the background on the intro, all the buzzing walls of bass and synth chords, it works a lot better overall as a formula. Plus the instrumental palettes and the build on Sea of Voices is genuinely breathtaking uh, still to this day. And I I could see how that really kind of set the stage for much of what would happen on Nurture. And while, yeah, still I'm not crazy about the spoken word passages and pacing on Fellow Feeling, some of the darker, heavier, more abrasive bits of the track uh, do include some genuinely cool and interesting sound design. And lastly, Goodbye to a World is a very respectable closer as well, and certainly does a better job of tying things up emotionally and thematically uh, than a great deal of albums operating in this genre lane at the time, which again, I think contributes to this record uh, aging much better than a lot of its competition in the early and mid 2010s. So yeah, at this point, I think I have warmed up on the record a bit. I was more dismissive of it than I should have been. And while I can't say I love it at this point, I should have seen more potential in it at the time when it dropped than I did. And those are the thoughts I'm going to leave you with on this record uh, 10 years later. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this album. Has your opinion on it shifted uh, at all over the past 10 years? Did you love it then and you still love it now? How does it compare to Nurture for you? How does it compare to modern electronic dance music across the board? Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or a link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Porter Robinson, Worlds, uh, forever.